Hey, hello, welcome back to another episode of Des Farms. If you like, been a while since I last posted a video. Started a new job and everything else. So it's kind of hard to film. There ain't really much doings since every freaking time we try to get something to do, it rains. So today I got a video, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't questions we were trying to experiment how haylage and corn silage is made you chop it up add an additive to it or inoculant ferment it but we me and my brother are trying to figure out if we can make a suitable supply of brass lidge using lawn clippings since we don't have a lot of acres to test and make actual haylage, we're going to try grass and if it actually works, it's be a suitable thing. Maybe other people can do it. Uh, there's small hob hobbyists out there and all that stuff. If you like this kind of content, if you want to sh please share, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll show you the ste steps and how we do it. And maybe we can have more people make grass lidge for their sheep, cows, goats. All right, let's go. Uh, the first step is after you mow the grass is to rake, rake it up. I'm down here at the lower area where Massey and everything else sit. So let's get it to Go. All right, one more time. Guess I'm not like millennial farmer and it just pops straight back up. I guess I gotta actually do it now. After you get your pals raked up, and I got several more that way raked, put it in a garbage bag. And using clear the only ones we got but yep just fill it in the garbage bag and after you collected grass in your bag you squeeze the living crap out of it. Get all the air out as much as you can. While my brother's doing that, just a quick tip. Do not use complete dry grass because there's no moisture in it to allow it to ferment. Once you're done, squeezing all the air out. Tie it. And leave it there. But if you got a safe area where no bugs or any, no animals are gonna bite into it, yeah, I should just put it there. Here's the second bale or bag. Ah. This one's filled up a little more. Mm 
So we got two bags in total. We had three from the previous stuff. Uh, you can tell it's all pretty much fermented. I do not recommend, unless you're gonna feed it automatically, do not open until you want to feed because it can spoil really fast. So, also a few other things. Since it's out in the heat and it's fermenting, it's gonna bulge out severely. And that's okay. You can poke it with a knife, but as long as you know where that hole is, you can cover it with tape because there is gases in here. When it comes out, it can really mess you up. It can almost kill you too because of fermentation in it. But yeah, if you want to get the gas out, slice it, wait until all the gas is gone, then you can cover it back up with tape. We did that. Well, we did, we cut it, but we forgot to cover it up with tape and we fed it automatically. But if you just leave some in it, it pretty much just rots. But other than that, I'll show you guys something special. We have pumpkins growing. We did not plant pumpkins. This whole entire area is filled full of pumpkins. I don't mind the sheep. You can probably hear them throughout the whole entire video. There's one white pumpkin growing on this round bell. And there's another one. Our local feed store gave us free pumpkins here all October of last year. And we fed them to our pigs, a bunch of acorn squash. And we just piled the more manure down here on our garden. Hence why we didn't plant a garden. And now we have pumpkins growing, which is really cool and really weird on how it can survive through the body system of a pig for that long and be dormant until right around when it's supposed to time to come and pick. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of blossoms. We have a few pumpkins like that. And we got a few squash, acorn squash growing. But, but yeah, just figured that'd be a cool thing to show you guys. Well, I'd like to just send this off. Hope you guys liked today's video on what we do as an experiment of growing grass. Well, not growing grass, grass automatically grows if you have grass. Of what we do to use as a spare experiment to make silage. Hopefully we're going to plan on feeding this to our sheep in the winter time when they lamb and hopefully they can produce more milk. A few other stipulations. Oh this here, yeah that's just plain grass. If I can do it. Back here behind the massy in that there's a lot of clover like insane amount of clover and like timothy and stuff like that and that we just left there from previous bales that we built up and it just reseeded and now it's about yay big and we mowed it off and hopefully that's what's mostly in these that big bag that my brother was pr compressing down that's majority of it is clover timothy some majority of it is grass but we have a lot of clover and stuff in it so hopefully it will produce good for our sheep maybe we'll make some good if we can we have a bunch of feeder lambs or calves we can feed it to them and see if they can bulk up on it we wouldn't give them an insane amount i wouldn't recommend that because they can cause bloat don't know what bloat is it's pretty much gases in their stomach and their rumen and stuff that expands 
and they pretty much die from it if you can't take if you can't make them burp or anything like that one of the treatments two of the treatments if you have a cow you can use a tow car which is like a giant plug shove it in them unraveling and it pours the gas out another thing give them give them mineral oil vegetable oil canola anything oil neutral oil and make them do that it makes them burp or kind of like a cough to get the stuff out which I didn't know that until later a few years ago because we had a lot of calves and stuff get bloat and we never knew what to do we always treated them with some antibiotic but we couldn't figure it out but hope that helps you along um but yeah, I hope, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to post more and get more content going for more of us or a few of us that like enjoying my videos. But hope you guys have a nice night. If you get a nice night, nice day, nice morning, nice afternoon, whenever you're seeing this. See you guys later.